Hey, standby. Everything's looking good. Roll it. My cue. The future of city-owned memorial health systems is discussed during an open town hall meeting. Wipe cue it. Plans for Republican wipe. candidates for Senate Ken Buck and Jane Norton square off in a debate tonight in Colorado wipe Springs. Wipe cue it. And investigators uncover a scene straight one, out of a spy Sod. movie as suspected Russian operatives are arrested on U.S. soil. Take Sod. This is by. It's cold open. Push to it. Primetime News Hour. Fox 21 News at 9 starts now. Video, banner. The city is Video. trying to decide if it should sell Stand Memorial by, Hospital. Take Good evening, everyone. I'm Rachel Stand Weldy for Stephanie Pinlinski. Thanks for joining us tonight. We have the latest Video. on the hospital Stand discussions screens. in tonight's top story. Memorial screens. Health System has been live. owned by the city of Colorado Springs since 1943, change. but some are asking if the city Stand should be the health care business, in the health care business. So a commission Stand is taking a close one. look at the question. Fox One Woods Chris Ronellis is just back from a public meeting on the topic. He joins us now mics. with more. Chris? Take one. Well, Joe, some are wondering Super. if the city would be more financially stable yeah. if they jettisoned the Memorial Hospital. But the question is a lot more and complex next. than just to sell or not to sell. Take pack. This was and the first town hall meeting on the question, question, the question of what the city should do with Memorial Hospital. After so months of educating themselves on the current Mitchell status of Memorial, set, set. the commission is now ready to start looking at options. So we're going to start bringing in models, national models, uh, to Super. determine what kind of alternative the best fit for Colorado Springs. The yeah. options are many. Good. The city could just sell Memorial, or they could sell just the operations and lease the buildings and property to the new operator or they could leave everything the way it is now. We have an opportunity right now to, to kind of grab our future, what the Discussion healthcare should with look the community. like the next generation or two. Memorial is estimated to be worth more than $300 million, but that doesn't mean if the city sells it, the money will fix the budget problems. Who they sell to could determine how the money would have to be used. But no matter what the commission recommends to city council, it will likely impact the face of health care in Colorado Springs Stand for decades one. to come. Will the current governance and ownership take us into the next generation or two? Will it take us into the future? Is it the right structure to move us forward? And if it is, good on us. We made that decision. And if it's not, there should be a change, then we need to have that discussion with the community. Take one. Now the commission will deliver by its two. recommendation on what to do with Memorial to City Council in December. Rachel, take it. Thank you, Chris. Stand by. The lone Bin Laden hunter who was detained in Pakistan says Al Qaeda was after him because he was close to finding the terror boss. Take the O. Man, Gary Faulkner, now better. back in the United States, claims he got closer to Osama bin Laden, which is next. a gun Stand and a sword than the U.S. military has. Next to Sot. How far did you get? Super. Uh, I got to his backyard, we'll Super. say. Where? Uh, in Camel Pakistan. One. On He's in Afghanistan. He's in Pakistan. And so, uh... Through the trials, travels, and tribulations, it, it led me there with all the aid and the help that I've had from a lot of, uh, a lot of people, both in the Pakistan and the United States here. Thank you. Stand by one. Faulkner, who's 50, says he's going back to the region to catch bin Laden. Take it. Anti-tax activist Douglas Bruce appears in court today to fight a subpoena. Take VO. A spokesman for fellow Attorney General and John Southers announced that Bruce was finally served next. with another subpoena after more than 30 attempts. The subpoena orders Bruce to appear before a grand jury in an unrelated case. Uh, Denver District Court ruled there is evidence that Bruce flouted the law and ordered him to show up July 26th for a hearing. Right, Bruce says the he was never properly served. Take two. GOP Senate hopefuls Ken Buck and Jane Norton were not the in the debate in Colorado Springs. Take the O. Issues brought up including everything from government spending to the economy to the next. energy efficiency. One of the first Catch questions out of the gate to the politicians, how do they feel about the war in Afghanistan? What do they plan to do about it? The SOT. We, we need to stay there. We need to get the job done. But we are foolish. We are foolish if we think that we are going to turn Afghanistan into a Western-style democracy. I do not want to look in the faces of young families of men and women who have died fighting in Afghanistan and say Theo. that your sacrifices were for naught. We need to double down in Afghanistan. Mixing out my cue. Another hot topic of debate is the power the federal government should have in the United States. Both candidates touching on health care reform, how big and how small it should be. Mixing out Washington thinks that they have all the answers. We know that that there are things that we could do that would bring the cost of health care down. And that's the goal of health care reform. Does anybody believe that a $2.5 trillion bill is going to bring the cost of health care down and improve our health care? 
Absolutely not. The founding fathers intended the federal government to have limited powers. Uh, what it means is that, uh, Stand by on two. that we send senators to the United States Congress five seconds. To, do, to act Stand consistent the with the Tenth Amendment. Thank you. Today's event was the first debate between the two candidates the Republican ballot was settled. Take it. A plan to visit by the by chairman VO. of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Lord Carson, Terry. canceled last minute. Admiral Take Mike Mullen, he planned to visit the Mountain Post this morning for a question and answer session for soldiers shoulder. and to attend other meetings. Well, Fort Carson officials say Mullen canceled should be on because one. of scheduling Stand issues. By. Mullen was in Colorado to speak at the Aspen Good. Security Forum. Take one. The burnout continues in the men who fire near the Great Sand Dunes National Park. Take the continue to burn off use between, between the fire and prepared fire, fire lines. Officials say the warm, dry weather is good for burnout operations. They say smoke is likely to be more visible the next few days and remind travelers on Highway 69 to use caution. Take well, we saw an absolutely Stand by two. Day. Terry has a first look now at weather on a fox mask. Thank you. Indeed, Joe, the weather was gorgeous. We had plenty of sunshine in Colorado Springs and uh, all of eastern Colorado. A few storms over the higher elevations, but they moved off to uh, the northwest, so they weren't a problem east of the mountains. Let's take a look at some of those high temperatures around the state. Oh, 87 in Colorado Springs, 92 in Pueblo, into the lower 90s. The Hunt of R, upper 80s in Springfield, Hitchens in Trinidad, and upper 80s in Lima. So some nice weather to uh, spend some time outside. And more of it is on the way for tomorrow. Most of the nice weather to direct a newscast, Shane. 7 a.m. temperatures into the 60s and yeah. Pueblo well into the 60s. Noon time we're into the 80s. 5 o'clock it's the 80s and 90s and 70s and 80s by 9. So it looks one. like a nice day coming our direction. The question on is, one. do we have any rain coming our direction? <laughs> we'll talk about Stand that. Stay by VO. <laughs> At 9:21. Take me out. Tonight's news from across America begins in Louisiana. Got it. The vice Good. president hit the Gulf Coast today Stand as BP makes its first payment to the government for the cost of the oil spill. Take me out. Stand by. Sierra has the latest from Pensacola Beach, Florida. And what pack? Hey, Better. In the Big Easy, the vice president yeah, meeting with people along the Gulf Coast whose lives have been turned upside down by the oil spill. Sometimes you might not fair. Rachel, Kim, you all have been hit with Katrina, Gustav, and now. BP spill, and uh, in a sense, uh, we're not for your character. You've been through more than any community has a right to be asked to go through. Vice President Biden toured the U.S. Army Command in New Jonathan Orleans Sarah earlier in the day, 123. where he got a briefing on the response. A minute efforts. left in pack. What weather bringing the skimming operations in the Gulf to you. a halt? BP and Coast Guard officials sending the ships back to shore after Alex, although hundreds of miles away, still churned up rough seas and powerful winds. Meanwhile, BP says the containment system is capturing about one million gallons of crude a day from the busted well. That well is estimated to be spewing as much as 2.5 million gallons each day. Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal looking for a much longer guarantee of aid from BP. Jindal is asking the company to fund a 20-year, $400 million program to test seafood for oil contamination and rehabilitate fisheries. BP just settled two massive bills with the federal government totaling $71 million. The oil company paying the initial cost of the response just before the July 1st deadline given by the Obama administration. The White House says the oil company is still reviewing and processing a third bill for the spill, that one totaling just over $51 million. In Pensacola, Stand by two. Jonathan Seri, Fox News. Take it. BP trying to fix the financial woes of the gas Hold stations there, across the country that bear the company's name and are facing boycotts from an angry public. The oil company promising cash, lower credit card fees, and help with more national advertising. In other news from across America, President Obama welcomed Saudi King Abdullah to the White House. The two leaders discussed the urgent need to press for Middle East peace and specifically to include the creation of a Palestinian homeland. Other key topics of the meeting, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and efforts to combat extremism. The Senate Armed Services Committee has voted in favor of General David Petraeus to become the next commander of the Afghanistan war. The full Senate, they're likely to confirm Petraeus quickly. He's replacing General Stanley McChrystal, who was fired for negative remarks he made about administration officials in an interview. And it sounds like something out of a cartoon, but this story is real. Ohio police say they have arrested Donald Officers Duck. Officers say Duck was charged with DUI after crashing his car into another vehicle of a drive-thru. Well, police said they also found saying. Hot Duck's car. This is the sixth DUI charge he has had since 1991. Take it. No, that was kind of weird. <laughs> well, for a second day in a row, Stand Senators will President Obama's choice to be the next Supreme Court Justice. Take the O. Take the Capitol Hill. Stand by the White. Kagan's confirmation hearings. That's a 928.
Stand by the white. Mining show people across the country are getting heavier. Find out where Colorado ranks at 934. White. And then at 948, we'll bring you a white sock peek at one of the most anticipated movies of the summer, the Twilight Saga Eclipse. But first, coming up after the break. Right, cute. Police overseas arrest by another suspect in the U.S. Russian spy investigation. I'm David Lee Miller in New York. And coming up, I'll have the details. And take Sot, kill Banner. You are watching Fox 21 News at 9. Coming out to commercial next. With Joe Cole, Stephanie Kaplinski, and Terry Gerbstadt. Southern Colorado's primetime news hour.